She broke pose, walked to a royal blue pitcher, and poured water into a mug that read, I like dogs better than people. Bringing it to her lips, she hesitated, then spoke directly to him. No trouble, Mr. Tremaine. Am I clear? No phone calls, no snooping. Trouble gets you cuffed in the brig. And I don't think that is something you want. Take this time to recuperate. We should arrive at our destination in three days, and I'll give you a ticket back to the mainland. Cross me, and no one will ever know what happened to you. The Pacific is a big ocean. Your choice. I'd like to think someone would know if I went missing. I have a lot of friends. A corner of his lips tugged upward. Maybe I'm not being clear about the situation. You fell and died in Big Sur. They already had your funeral. They already miss you, so they won't miss you again. But yesterday I was in. Confusion swept through him, the loss of time stabbing at his gut. Has it been that long? You've been unconscious for days. You've been hooked up on a morphine drip. We got you out of a very dangerous situation and onto the boat. It's a miracle you're alive. A large man approached, and Seth remained seated, silently watching their interaction. Keanu, please take our guest back to his room and see to his needs. He doesn't look good. He needs a proper breakfast and rest. He can't stay in the sun. He? My name's Seth, and I'm fine. I just need... Seth set down his glass and rose to his feet. Immediate dizziness slammed into him, and he lost his balance. Burly arms shielded his fall.